Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony. Today's video is an interesting one everybody, so prepare yourself. But anyways, today I will be bringing you guys a video known as 10 crafting ideas in Minecraft. Now basically, I will be showing you guys some crafting ideas for items that do not have crafting recipes in the game. Now if you guys want me to make a part 2 of this video, then be sure to let me know in the comment section below. But if you guys do enjoy today's video, then be sure sure to give this video a like rating as it's going to help me out a huge bunch. Now as always if this video is able to hit over 5,000 likes then that would just be amazing not gonna lie but anyways without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into this super interesting video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys so the first crafting recipe idea we have on our list is going to be a recipe for this new trident weapon that has been added in the new 1.13 update. Now the first crafting idea I had for for this weapon is to basically use two sticks right here as you can see and four diamonds like so and then finally this new heart of the sea item that's been added now currently heart of the sea is not obtainable in survival but it will be in a later snapshot i believe so yeah i reckon heart of the sea will be quite fitting for this item and then a bunch of diamonds as well because obviously the recipe for the trident needs to be quite expensive since it's a very good weapon but i also had another recipe idea right here as you can see and it's pretty much the same same recipe but instead of heart of the sea i would use a nether star because this item is you know very hard to obtain you know you have to kill the wither boss to obtain it so maybe you could you know use four diamonds and a nether star instead but uh let me know what you guys think okay guys so the second crafting recipe idea i have for you all today is going to be for the item i am using right now which is the elytra wings now these are only found in end city ships so they are quite rare and difficult to obtain so i figured i'd create a crafting recipe for it so in order to craft the elytra you would actually need four leather right here you know fairly simple to do you just have to kill some cows and secondly i would have two feathers right here you know kill some chickens again very easy but finally you would need two phantom membranes which is the difficult part of this crafting recipe because phantom membranes are going to be quite hard to get since you need to kill the new phantom mob and they only spawn if you don't sleep for a certain amount of days so you know, in order to get a phantom to show up in general is going to be quite rare. But killing them as well is going to be hard because they're quite tricky mobs. They fly around, you know, they, you know, they charge at you when they fly. So they can kill you quite easily. Okay guys, so right in front of me you can see, well, first of all a pig right here, and secondly you can see a horse, and in my hand I have a saddle, so that can only mean one thing, that's right, I am going to be showing you guys a crafting recipe idea for the saddle. Now saddles can only be found in naturally generated structures, such as dungeons for example, hello piggy, uh, but yeah, I figured I'd show you guys a crafting recipe idea for it, so let's go ahead and go over to the crafting table, and to craft a saddle, well in my vision i would use five leather right here you know very simple to do just kill some cows and no i do not want a leather cap but secondly you would use some string right here just kill a spider very simple and then finally i would use some iron ingot and that would be the recipe for the saddle very simple not too expensive but i do think it's quite fair as well so let's go ahead and craft this saddle and let's put it on top of the horse so let's get on the horse and press e and put the saddle on it and there we go that is the recipe for the saddle now i don't think i'm going to be able to you know take this horse because there's a lead attached to it but uh yeah this is the saddle the sea pickle is a new item that was added in the 1.13 update and this item essentially acts as an underwater light source as you can see now granted they're not as good as the torch but it's still something you know if you're having trouble seeing underwater you could just use a sea pickle now you cannot actually craft them they can only be found in the coral reef biomes or just scattered around in the ocean so yeah you can't actually craft them so someone on my discord actually suggested a fantastic recipe for them so if you just simply use one kelp and one prismarine crystal right here you will see that you can craft four seed pickles right here which is quite you know a fitting recipe i'd say and here we go i've got four seed pickles so i can see a lot better underwater which i think is a really good idea but let me know what you guys think have you guys ever wanted to give a creeper a really funny nickname but you have haven't been able to because you haven't been lucky enough to find a name tag in a dungeon well that's been me all the time so i figured i'd just create a crafting recipe you know for the name tag to make it a little bit easier so this recipe idea basically requires two paper right here one string 
a feather, and one ink sack. So, you know, it's quite a simple but fair recipe for the name tag. So, if you put in this recipe idea, then you will be able to craft this name tag. So, yeah, let's go ahead and craft it right here. And let's go up to the anvil and give the name tag a funny name. Well, not really a funny name, just a name that's appropriate for the creeper. So, Charlie right here. Let's go ahead and call him Charlie the Creeper. Let's go up to the creeper and name him Charlie. You right, mate? How you doing? Okay, guys, so as you can see, I am in the rare but fantastic mushroom biome right here, as you can see, and it is home to the rare mycelium block, and it can only be found here. There is no way to craft it. You must find a mushroom biome in order to obtain it. So I figured I would show you guys a crafting recipe idea to basically craft this block. So if we go into the crafting table right here, you will see that I have three items right here. I've got some regular dirt, boring and i've got a brown mushroom and i've got a red mushroom so if we put the dirt right here and then the brown mushroom on top and then the red mushroom on top of that you will see that I have crafted a mycelium block. I think that is quite a cool idea. Okay, guys, so the next crafting recipe idea we have on our list is going to be ice. Now, before I get into this, I just want to tell you guys that I spilled hot chocolate all over my desk, and I'm really annoyed. But anyways, let's get into this. So the crafting recipe idea I have for ice is, well, let's open up the crafting table, first of all. And uh, Pretty much what I do is put a snow block underneath right here and then put a water bucket on top of it. Does that make sense? Maybe, I don't know, but I think it's quite a reasonable recipe to craft ice, so let's go ahead and craft it. And uh, there you go, I've got some ice right here, so uh, I think this is quite cool. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so once you've crafted some ice by using a water bucket and some snow, I figured it would make sense if you could craft packed ice as well. Now, the crafting idea to craft packed ice is very simple. Just go straight into the crafting table right here and just get nine ice and just fill the grid, basically, and you will have packed ice right here. It's a very simple recipe. All you need to do is basically collect some ice or craft ice and you should be good to craft packed ice. Now, let me know if you think this is a cool idea. I think it would make quite a lot of sense i mean it might be a little bit overpowered but you know it's a cool idea nonetheless and i love packed ice as well it looks really awesome it's trivia time this is the part of the video where you guys show me your minecraft knowledge by me asking you a random minecraft fact question wolves used to attack the player on peaceful mode true or false the next crafting recipe idea we have on our list is going to be a crafting recipe for the end portal frame now as you guys can see I've got an activated end portal right here in the middle of nowhere in the overworld and I'm going to be showing you guys how I think it should be crafted. So let's go ahead and go over to the crafting table right here and you can see that I've got some items in my inventory here. I've got some end stones, some ender pearls and some eye of ender. So basically I think it should be crafted like this. So you know we've got to have some end stone right here and then we're going to go ahead and put down the ender pearls like this. And then we're going to put the Eye of Ender in the middle. And there you go. We've got the end portal frame right here, which is very cool. Now, you're probably thinking that being able to craft an end portal frame would make finding a normal end portal in a stronghold completely pointless. Well, that's not actually true because you do, in fact, need to enter a normal end portal in a stronghold in order to even craft this item, you know, because you need to enter the end and get some end stone. And once you get end stone, you can in fact craft this item. So I'll show you the recipe one more time. So let's go ahead and do it right here. You know, it's four end stone, four ender pearls, and then one eye of ender in the middle. So yeah, you do in fact need to enter the normal end portal in order to craft it anyway. So I'm sure a lot of you know that you're able to get wool by shearing sheep, but did you also know that you can craft wool by using four string right here? I'm sure a lot of you knew that. I didn't really need to mention it. I don't know why I did, but yeah, let's go ahead and craft the white wall but I think a cool idea that Mojang should put in the game is being able to turn the white wall back into string. I think they should just add a reverse recipe for the wall. I think it'd be quite useful, to be honest, in case, you know, you want to use the string for perhaps a fishing rod or a bow or something like that, because maybe you don't want the wall anymore. Maybe you don't want to craft the wall. Maybe you want to use it for, you know, a bow or a fishing rod. But anyways, that just about concludes today's video, everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed it and or found it informative. Now, 
be sure to let me know in the comments once again if you would like me to make a part two of Minecraft crafting ideas. By the way, I would like to give a huge thank you to some of the members on my Discord server. You guys know who you are because you guys helped out with this video because I asked you guys to leave some crafting idea suggestions in the comments and you guys gave some awesome suggestions and some of them even made it into this video. Now, as always, if you guys would like to play on my Minecraft server, then the IP is play.idmchub.net. But anyways, guys, I am going to go now because, I don't know, I need a breather after making this video, man. I made so many mistakes. I had to redo so many clips and I spilled hot chocolate all over my desk, as I mentioned in the video. So that was very, very annoying. So I'm going to go now. So thank you all so much for watching the video. Have a fantastic day and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Katie, I see you in under a week. Mm -hmm.